Good morning, everyone. It is June 7, 2020, Holy Trinity Sunday, God in three persons. My sister Janice and I remember sitting in our Grandma Clark's church singing, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. That is how they began every church service. My grandma's voice could be heard as she played the organ and led the congregation and choir in that old clan Brassel country church. It still brings a smile to our faces today. This is a wonderful time of growth and renewal as we prepare for summer. There is definitely things happening in the world that are making us take notice though. We are learning through the media that we need to do better. We need to treat everyone with respect and care, regardless of race, religion, or sexual orientation, and we are learning the hard way. We bear witness to tragic deaths and injuries to people at the hands of supposed protectors. We need to keep our eyes and ears and hearts open as we travel the road of enlightenment and change together. We are very lucky to have an excellent flautist in our midst. I am proud to say that Abby got her start with the HCES band way back when she was only nine. She has certainly evolved in her skill and her beautiful accompaniments have certainly enhanced our choir anthems. Way to go, Abby. We are busy planning and discussing our summer worship services for July. We feel they will continue to be virtual but we are trying to plan ahead so the team can enjoy a lighter load during that time. We are proud of our efforts so far, but find that the hours of preparation leaves everyone exhausted. We will keep you posted. We are grateful to have the Cullens participate in our worship service today. They are getting all packed up and organized for their move to Nova Scotia. We all wish Kevin, Jen, and Braylon lots of love as they head east for the next part of their life's journey. You all will be missed very much. There will be a drive-by parade in honor of the Cullens on Saturday, June 13th at 11 a.m. There is more information in the newsletter, but this will be an opportunity for St. John's to say goodbye to an awesome family that we have been lucky to know. Spirit Cafe met again this Wednesday at 10, and this is an open invitation for anyone to join the group Zoom conversation. You can use your phone to call in, so don't feel like technology is going to stop you. All are welcome. Thanks to our men's club team of Sam, Sam, Ken, Ken, Ross, and Alan, for working away at our church grounds to keep everything looking well cared for. And yes, they worked away using appropriate social distancing techniques. Well done, everyone. Belated happy birthday wishes go out to Sam, who celebrated his special day yesterday. John is celebrating his birthday today. And we can't forget Ken, whose birthday is June 13th. We wish you all the best for the coming year. Before we light the Christ candle, we will pause to reflect about the past week and prepare for the week to come. Thanks to Oliver for practicing so hard and recording his piece called Wind Chimes so we can enjoy it today. Have a wonderful week.